Bandless, 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 bandless. Hey, Konami, where's our ban list? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, is your host with the most A free of our 32 here and destroy the Evelyn Boo Boo stain off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1400 ladder as we one day hit 2000 hopefully one day sooner rather than later but right now what we're waiting on much later than sooner is our ban list uh it's been a while ladies and gentlemen and uh i'm very sick of playing against all the degenerate fire king garbage decided to take our homie valley d's advice to try and play a burn deck just for something fun to do at a YCS VIP qualifier that's going to be on the 23rd of this month at my locals. I don't know why I took that advice, but you know what? It was something to try out. Uh, it, the, the deck is garbage. Don't don't play a burn deck. Just because one got top four at a regional does not mean it's good. It's garbage. I can promise you that. <laughs> so, I'm so tired of seeing Flame Birch Dragon. I'm tired of seeing Promethean Princess. I'm tired of seeing Popular and Snake Eye Ash and all these things. Blah, blah, blah. Look, when can we realistically expect this next list? And Konami in the past has invalidated YCSs with the release of a ban list. I think that they want to avoid ever doing that again because, you know, it kind of makes the people who attended the event feel jaded because the results are meaningless. Three, two, one. I think they want to avoid dropping a ban list during or even right before YCS again because it just invalidates the results of that event and no one just even pays attention to it because they're all playtesting new format. My worry is that they're going to wait until after Rally. Um, they're going to probably wait, you know, maybe a little bit after the VIP qualifier events for like YCS Indian stuff start kicking up because, you know, those are kind of starting around like next week or so, I think. Um, like I said, mine's on the 23rd. There's some uh, where our homie Valley D's at uh, further down south uh, on like the 27th when Legacy of Destruction is legal. So like there are events coming around like the VIP qualifiers and things that maybe Konami wants to keep under this current ban list. And then once we actually like hopefully before June when we have YCS Indy, we get a fresh list because... You have to keep in mind that whatever list we get has to carry us through nationals. And the biggest issue I see with this ban list that we're still fucking waiting on <laughs> is that I don't think they're going to hit Flamberge. I don't think they're going to hit Promethean Princess. I think that we might see something like Heavy Storm come back to one, which would be really cool. I think that we'll see like some consistency things get hit. Um, when it comes to like Snake Eye Fire King and just Snake Eye in general, if I can quit yawning. Um, but no matter what they hit, I think that there's going to be a lot of decks that come from this current format into the new format that are still going to be viable. Like, perfect example being the 60 card Volcanic FTK. I really want to play that deck. The problem is I can't learn the Volcanic lines to save my life. But I think that that deck's going to be viable no matter what. Even if they put like Black Witch to one and Wanted to one and like Ash to one and even like bonfire to one i think you could still play the deck and make it very very good you just kind of trim the fat and you know kind of just go from there but <sighs> i'm thinking we're not going to get this list at the earliest until like the end of this month if not like early may and that's really an issue because we are in a tier zero format like voiceless voice i guess can kind of keep up if they don't get hit with d shifter but i mean even when we get tempi like you could even maybe play a Snake Eye Engine in Tempi. Like, Snake Eye can be played in, in anything. Like, Beaver Warrior OTK, you throw in a Snake Eye Engine. Like, it... can you tell I'm so tired of talking about fucking Snake Eye? This is why, like, I haven't been posting daily for a while. Because I try to post every couple of days, like, to at least stay in the YouTube algorithm and talk about the game. But it's hard to talk about the game when, like... The market is moving for collector stuff. And like Trident, Dragon, Ultimate Rare, Unlimbs, and Near Mints are like over $200 right now. And I got mine for like $82, which is really funny. But other than like the market moving for like things for the future or like collector stuff, there's nothing happening other than like Snake Eye is like 
five, well, I wouldn't even say five, like two to $300 cheaper. Like it's no longer a thousand dollars, but the prices have dropped because people are afraid it's going to get um, hit on the balance, which it will be in some degree. I just don't think it's going to be the hits that we want. And I've seen some people say like, well, Avery, when we got the new super heavy support right after that came out, they banned super heavy scarecrow. But the issue with that is that we had Scarecrow for a long time. Like, it wasn't like Scarecrow came out in the same set as Photon Hypernova. Scarecrow came out in, like, some previous set very much prior. But then once we got the new support, then that's what made it broken. And that was honestly a good hit because when you look at, like, the early trends um, of, like, I guess what you could call, like, a little mini format, it was either Cash Tira or Super Heavy. There was no in-between. You had to play one of those two. And that was just going to be basically a repeat of Dragon Ruler and Spellbook format. And I know for a fact that me and I don't think anybody else would really want that. So it was right to hit that. With that being said, I mean, we could sit on our thumbs and twirl around and talk about things that could be hit. But I really don't see stuff, especially the new stuff like popular, getting hit. And I think it's going to be very similar to what we saw in the OCG, where there were hits that were solid, but, you know, they didn't ban Flamberge, they didn't ban Promethean Princess, they put Little Knight to two, which I'm sure the the TCG won't do here, because that does fuck all. But, it's just so boring. Like, I'm having a lot of fun playing Tempai, but I'm having fun playing Tempai because... 95% 95% of the time, I'm beating Snake Eye, whether it's because I just happen to open up the shifter or just because of the fact that I'm just steamrolling them with all of the other hand traps and gas that I have in my hand to where I can just OTK. You know, Black Rosing a board when you have the Tempai field spell up so the Black Rose is just unaffected, no matter what deck you are, that's really good, Sugar Boo Bear. Even if you got Promethean Princess and everything else and can rebuild your board with Fire Kings. Cool, but now your board is in a simplified state, and I can just steamroll you. It's just so boring. Like, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but this is why people get out of the game for a while. This is why, like, even I've noticed the content on my channel, like, the views are down. Um, Like, it's pretty much if you're not crapping on the format or crapping on some aspect of the game right now, because the format is bad, then you're not really going to get a lot of views. Like, something that... uh, my buddy put, uh, and it was a really good way of saying, like, the format's bad. He was like, if you have to play Exchange or Lullaby of Obedience, the format is bad. And I think that that's honestly, like, a really good point. Like, if you're able to make Exchange or Lullaby of Obedience good in any fucking capacity, it's a bad format. Like, I don't mind, unlike Joshua Schmidt, I don't mind the idea of playing 18 plus hand traps and just throwing hand traps at each other. Um, I think that that actually is a good thing in the sense of it shows how out of control fucking hand traps are in 2024, which is why I think that they should be wheeled into a degree. Um, Not like banning all of them or limiting them all to one, other than banning Shifter, of course, but definitely limiting them in subcapacity, whether it's to two or to one or to whatever. So that, like, not every deck is just 18 hand traps plus, like, 22 engine cards, if that. You know, like, in the case of Tempai, like, you're just playing, like, 10 to 12, maybe 15 engine cards, and that's it. But, oh, I'm thinking that we're not getting a list until, like, late May. I think that they're going to wait till after the results of Rally, and then, like, a week after Rally, we get a ban list. We roll into May... May 1st, let's say, the Great Burst of May 1st, for those of you who know about Dark Side Phil. Uh, the Great Burst of May 1st, we get like the, the execution of the list, it goes into effect. That gets us through, ideally, what? If you count May, May, June, July, August. If you don't count May, then like around like September. September, maybe we'll finally see fire get decimated um september ban lists throughout the years have been known to really slow down the game um if i remember correctly usually the september lists have like a lot of hits but from what i remember in the past i think september formats were like pretty fast formats i could be wrong i thought september formats were usually pretty slow but the point that i'm making is that maybe by september or october when i'm turned 28 years old jesus christ We'll finally, like, be out of fire and, like, maybe we'll be into the next attribute, wind, whatever. I hope that's not what they do because 
the next several formats just going to be fire and then this attribute then this attribute like no please no guys let, let me know what you think about all this I, I'm, I'm so tired of this format it's like g- give us a balance even if it says no changes this is why we need a fucking end date on our list the ocg gets one master shits gets one every other aspect of the game gets an end date and we don't we just get to sit and spin Woo! i'm going to bed